Hello everybody. You're having a blessed day. I was just coming back to show you all um, my takedown of my rollers. <laughs> Since just I was, out, I was in the middle of doing my hair and God had me to come and say the things he wanted me to say. So I'm going to just show you the takedown of my dreads on foam rollers. Um, I've done this before. They've turned out nice. But today, I, yesterday I used a different technique. I did each put each one on a roller. Usually I do three or something on a roller, on one roller, but I did one on each roller. So, let's see what these results look like. Let's take this hair down. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. It's all right. Oh. <laughs> look at y'all. Oh, and I did wash my hair yesterday, and that's when I decided to roll it up. So, yeah, I did wash it yesterday too. Wash and did condition it, you know, everything that you have to do to them. Some people say don't condition your dreads, some people say this and that, but I feel like it's hair, and you know. It needs conditioner. So, I condition my dreads. And I haven't had a problem with them. Some people say mildew and this and that. I have not had a problem with that or anything. Um, so, yeah. Look at that. Something fell down there, but it's alright. I can get it later. <laughs> but, yeah. So. And, um. Yeah. I just figured, you know. It's hair, and I do my own. I started them um, in 2016. Yeah, this year. Matter of fact, <laughs> hold on. Did I start them? I think I started them in May. I think I started them around Memorial Day weekend, somewhere around that time. So I think that's when I started them. Um, so it's either four years or coming on four years and um i started out with my natural hair um it wasn't long like that but it was i had some hair i didn't go you know just um from a little bit of hair no i had i had some hair but of course when you twist it up because i started mine with twists and when you twist them up you know it uh it pretty much uh, um, shrink when you twist them and everything with natural hair. So, yeah. I might show y'all some pictures of when I first started my journey. Like I said, I started with twists. My little cousin had wanted to do my hair. She wanted to twist my hair. Cause like I said, it was natural. She wanted to twist it. Little did she know she was starting my dread journey. Oh, I knew. Once she finished, I told her. I said, oh, I started my dread journey. This is it right here. This is how I'm going to do this. This is how I'm going to start this off. So, and I kept rolling with it. And people say the ugly stage. Um, I've never had an ugly stage. Maybe because I always loved them. Like right now, people say I'm tired of I want to cut them off and this, that, and the other. I'd be like, why? You know, because I love mine. You know. So, I don't know. But... Yeah, so I'm just going to continue to take them down. Let me show y'all my results. Like I said, this is individual, one on each roller. This is my first time doing this one. But um, it's like it's coming out nicely. And I wanted all large rollers. I wanted all large rollers. But, um, I ended up not having enough. And I wasn't going to go to the store and get none because, like I said, I had just washed my hair. So, I wasn't going to go out to the store and get none anything. 
So I had smaller ones, so I just worked with them. That's so why I have three sizes. I have the large, the medium, and the small. Because I started with large, and I went to the medium. Then when my medium ran out, I went to the small. And the pink and blue ones are the large ones. They're two different brands, but both of them are the large rollers. So, yeah. So I'm just going to continue to take them down for you all. And I know sometimes people get tired of this process. <laughs> so they'll fast forward to the end results. Which I get it. I ain't mad at you for it because I do the same thing sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I listen to a whole video. Sometimes I fast forward to the end. So, to see the results. And then I may come back and listen. <laughs> but, yeah. So. But, yeah, these are just foam rollers. I got them from my roses. Uh, dollar pack. You know, nothing expensive. I don't do nothing drastic to my hair, oils and all that, no. I moisturize my hair with water, uh, just a bottle of water, you know, a spray bottle of water. No um, oils or nothing like that. Moisture, water is moisture, <laughs> you know. I drink some water, I don't drink as much as I should, but I drink some water. And then, like I said, I spray water on my hair. Because, I don't know, I just don't feel like you need all that stuff, you know. I feel like people become product junkies buying all that stuff. And I'm not for buying all that stuff, becoming a product junkie and having all that stuff sitting around. And a lot of times, these people that sponsor, they get that stuff for free. We don't get it for free, we got to pay for it. So, and I've been doing this technique with my hair with just water since I started my dreads and, um, no, when I first started, I was listening to other people, and I was putting oils and stuff in it, so I can't lie about that. I was. But then I started saying, well, if water is moisture, and I can spray my dreads with water, then that's what I do. You know? And like I said, I've been doing that, and it's worked out perfectly fine for me. I ain't knocking your technique. Whatever you do, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying what Tracy do, okay? So, that's it. So, yeah. This takedown is a process. <laughs> just like putting it up was a process. Your arms do get tired. But, you know, you'll be finished soon, so you keep going. And you need to stop and then be like, oh, no. Then you got to start back up. No, I'm the type I like to go ahead and get it done. And get it over with. You know. So. Those of y'all who's watching this video, do y'all have dreads? Are y'all interested in getting dreads? Or you just like looking at tutorials and stuff like that? You know, because I know I look at natural hair and wigs and stuff. And, you know, I don't have that. I have dreads. <laughs> Which I can't put a wig over my dreads. And I thought about it. I thought about ordering one and putting one over there. But like I said, I just love my hair so much that um, I just roll with it. And a lot, I don't, yes, you can see, I don't know if you could tell or not, but, um, I don't really twist my hair often. So people say once a month, <laughs> I go about six months sometimes. I, I like my thick roots, you know, I like my roots thick. So, being I like my roots thick, 
you know, I don't really retwist my hair like that. I don't really do the whole retwisting all the time type of thing, no. Because I like, like I said, I like my roots the way they are, so. Only there, though. So I always start taking down in the back. <laughs> like I said, doing these individually, I could see. Well, I can't say that because I've never slept in them. I, I did them and I slept in them. Usually, I put them in for a few hours and then take them out, and my curl doesn't be as tight. But I can see these curls are tight. So they probably last a good while, which is good, because once they start falling, you know, I might style them a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to style them or if I'm just leave them like they are, you know, and let them fall how they fall. Because once you start messing with loosening the curls up, then the curls don't last as long as you want, you know. So I don't know. But today is Monday, so I don't know. I don't know if they'll last me by the weekend or not. I don't know. Cause like I said, it's my first time trying this technique. Now, the other techniques I try, like I said, I don't even take them and sleep in my rolls, no way. I just leave them in for, um, for a few hours, then I take them down. So, that one up. Oh, no, I ain't gonna wrap it right. Ooh, that's my thicker one. But yeah. So, I don't know how long these curls are gonna last. I hope for a while. Cause, um, I really, like I said, I, I don't mind. So, cause I don't really style my dreams. I may wear a ponytail, I may pull it up all together, something like that. But as far as doing styles and wanting the curls that last all the time, I don't really do that. You know. So, I'm almost done. Just a few more. Well, more than a few, because a few is considered three, right? <laughs> so, I don't want to sit here and be like, I'm lying to y'all. So, it's more than a few, but... This is these little bit right here. Yeah, just those little bit right there. And I'll be done with the tape down. Yeah, Y'all watching. Y'all probably getting tired. My arm's getting tired from taking them down. <laughs> I think I got a few there, I think. Yep. Mm, hold on, take it off the right way. <laughs> Ooh, pull it the right way. And that's all of the tape down. Now am I gonna play with them a little bit? Oh, wait a minute, no, it ain't. It's one right there. <laughs> it's one hiding. But I'm going to get it. And just pull through them a little bit. Got a piece of nail or something in my head. Oh, that's a piece of that roller. Oh, I love this. So, yeah, my new routine probably will be, probably will be to do each one individually. 
because it came out, the curl is so much tighter, I know it's going to last longer. But not just that, I love it. I love it. I think it's, I think it's really pretty. I think it's really pretty. Yeah. I think it's really pretty, y'all. And you know, it might not be for some people that might be like, no, that's too many curls. You know? But you gotta realize, they will fall. You know? Let me see if I put some earrings on. To see, to see just to see what some earrings might look like. Um, maybe. Hold on. Two different colors. Okay. These are my rose gold, rose gold earrings. I'm a paparazzi um, consultant and these are paparazzi earrings, $5 jewelry. So, being I sell that jewelry, I try just to wear that jewelry, nothing else. Because <laughs> I'm selling that jewelry. Why would I promote other things? You know, unless they paying me to promote it. Because mine is mine. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, this is the tape down. I could bring all of them to the front and droop them down in the face like that. I can pull some over. You know, I could twist it over here. And have that look. You know, with some down. You know, or I could push it all one way. So yeah, that's the thing about the dreads when they curl, they just look so good if you do so much with them, you know. So yeah. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this takedown. I hope, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of the takedown of my hair. You know, I've never done that before. But like I tell y'all, I'm mostly fasted. I do a lot of things. So, yeah. A piece of linen or something up there. A piece of, probably roller. I can't really see it on this camera. I get it off when I turn this camera off. But yeah, that's my takedown. You know, that's my hair. Of course, it's longer than this. The curls got it twisted up. Let me show you. Oh! See how long it is? Yeah, the curl got it twisted up. I mean, the rolls. You know, from taking the rolls out, it's still sort of twisted, curled up. So, yeah, it's, it's shrunk. That's what I say. <laughs> but, yeah. And see, these are my edges. See, I don't, like I said, I don't really twist my hair often. So, you know. And I don't really put gel on it. I just let my hair flow naturally. Because gel, I don't know. I don't want my hair breaking off. I don't want my edges gone. You know. I have my edges. <laughs> I have my edges. I don't want my edges gone. So, and I'm not saying gel breaks it off. But I'm just saying that's not something I do. You know. So, that's my takedown. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come back and look at more videos because i do more things so once again thank you and you are blessed have a great day